Okay, I want to show you how to do something with Remind 101 that um, I think could be pretty useful to you. It's kind of just a neat thing. And it's adding your Remind 101 feed to your class or school website. Okay, and I'm going to show you where to get the codes for that. And I'm going to show you how to, how to do it with a Google site. Because that's what I use for my classroom is Google site. So, you come over here to like your menu. There's a drop down menu and you click on my widgets now this is awesome so what it does is if I embed this code into my website whatever my feed is whatever messages I've sent recently will pop up on my website now see this kinda looks confusing this is HTML code so if you know how to write code for your website um, you just copy and paste this and it works but not all of us know how to use HTML to write um, code to make websites. So here's Google Sites, WordPress, and Edline. Okay, I, I haven't made a website with Edline before, but here's how to use WordPress, and here's how to use Google Sites. And not only does it give you the code, it, it even tells you how to do it. So log into your Google Site and do these things. So I'm going to show you what to do, but first. Um, I want to show how what I would do with my sixth grade um, feed because I have messages on there, and I have a pretty active uh, website still up from the previous year. So I'm going to click where it says copy, and it copied this link right here. Okay. Then it says click on the site I want to add my widget to, and I'm going to click insert. Now on Google, they're they're called gadgets. So I'm going to come. Kind of, oops. I'm going to come down, and I'm going to click where it says More Gadgets at the bottom. Okay. And these are all these like gadgets that are already made that you can put on there, and some of them are neat. Uh, you can search those, but I'm, gonna, I wanna, I'm really interested in this one right here. So I'm going to click my Add Gadget to my URL, or Buy URL, and I'm going to paste the thing I just copied, I'm going to click Add. Then I'm going to click OK. Okay, so this is my Google Gadgets right here because I, I was in the edit mode. So now I'm going to click on Save and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. I press Save. And it's loading it. And yet, here is my feed. Okay, the, mess, the last messages I've sent. Okay, have a great summer was the one I put on that last video. Now what you can also do, if I right click on this, I can go to settings, and I can make it even bigger. Okay, I can make it 400 pixels high. And click OK, and hit save. And as you can see, it takes up more room. All right. Now that's if you have like a lot of things you want to show. You see, there's there's some blank room down here. Okay. So you can play with it. So the thing is, okay, click on that widget on your widgets after uh, after you go down from your menu, and it shows you how to add them for WordPress, Google Sites and Edline. And then you just pick which feed you want to add. You can do it for all of your classes or for just one of them. Okay? And when you're done, it has it right here. So it's a, it's a nice way to update your website from your phone or from your tablet without um, having your, your computer there with you. And if people check in, whatever comes up on their phone will be on their website too. Have a nice little reminder. Okay? Alright.